Welcome back to Today's Issues. I am Christy Carson, your host, and today I am joined in the studio by Amy Vandevelde. She is the National Connections Program Manager for the Oasis Institute here in St. Louis. Welcome to Today's Issues. Thanks, Christy. It's great to be here. What is OASIS? OASIS is a national nonprofit headquartered here in St. Louis that promotes healthy aging through a three-pronged approach, including lifelong learning, healthy living, and community service. And a lot of our listeners today will be familiar with OASIS because we have uh, helped a lot of people here in St. Louis over the last 35 years, including um, about... 2,800 volunteers that volunteered over 200,000 hours at a time to help us deliver our programs here in St. Louis. And one of those volunteer opportunities is working as a technology help person for my program, Oasis Connections. Let's talk about technology because it's it's all around us, you know, wherever we go. And most importantly, it's right in our pockets and our purses. We're talking about phones, also computers. How does Oasis help people learn computers and phones, and particularly, who do they help? Well, we we do help people with computer training. I think a lot of people in St. Louis are very familiar with our uh, intergenerational tutoring program and some of our intergenerational health programming and also other programming to help prevent chronic diseases, which is all great. Yes. But the newest program of the bunch is Connections, and we've been around for 15 years helping people stay in step with their technology. Today, that means smartphones and tablets quite a bit. Um, Are you familiar with the Pew Research Center who does a lot of research on how people use technology? And and they research many other things as well. But their recent numbers indicate that there's been a serious... um, increase in the adoption of these technologies by older adults. And if we look around us, we see that people aren't always, um, people over 65, aren't always carrying flip phones anymore. They might have smartphones and they may be using tablets. Um, And so Connections has adapted and changed to help them. And so we do that here in St. Louis and throughout the country. So you have people that come and uh, instruct people between the ages of what, 50 and? Sure. Most of our participants are from age 65 to 80 throughout the country. But my program, Connections, also has the ability to partner with community um, organizations. And so we're located at many locations throughout the St. Louis metro area, in addition to our St. Louis uh, Oasis Center in Clayton. And so the way that we deliver this programming is through producing books because people um, in this gen- in this generation learned from a book in school. And when they come to learn about their device, they love to walk away with something in their hand. Okay. So that's my job is help oversee the development of those books. And then I have instructors, lovely volunteers on the ground, a great group of instructors here in St. Louis who teach classes and also offer a service called Ask a Techie, which is walk-in help um, for people to get help with their technology if they bring it in and have a question. Is it well attended, or are you looking for more participants every day? We're looking for more participants. It's it's well attended, and it does um, tend to wax and wane, uh, like a lot of things do. And I think that's because uh, our our older adults are very busy these days. Yes. They have a lot going on. And, and if you ask someone who's just retired if they have any time, chances are they don't. They're very busy volunteering. Uh, they still work some. They are involved in family members' lives. So they have a lot going on. But um, Ask a Techie is available at two locations in St. Louis, um, at Center of Clayton on Tuesday mornings from 10 to noon at our Oasis Center there, and at Crestview Senior Living on Wednesday mornings from 10 a.m. to noon. So you talked about different ways that you're addressing this technological gap or helping to educate um, Americans, older Americans, with this new technology. And you mentioned the books. And then you also have e-books, I understand, that you facilitate. Sure. Sure. So um, if they come to a class here in St. Louis, they will get a book. And the classes are offered through the Oasis Center, like I said. And if they want information on classes, they can call 314 862 Four eight five nine. That's three one four eight six two four eight five nine. But we reach a lot of people through our website that can't come to St. Louis Oasis or one of our other eight cities that have an Oasis Center. So we've developed an ebook on a topic that we think is really important, and that is mobile accessibility. And that may not make sense to everybody listening, but it's a guide to seeing and hearing your smartphone and tablet better. 
So it's a free download on our website, and that means that anybody can use it. And this is age neutral, this mm-hmm. book. It's to help people see things on phones and tablets better and be able to use a technology that's already in these devices to work better with them. So is it harder for older Americans to grasp this technology or do they just learn differently? Because I know for me personally, once I've been accustomed to learning in a specific way, like through the books, it's hard for me to adapt to a new technology. And and we're going through this with my mom uh, with her smartphone. I mean, she's done the flip phone thing for years because it's what she was comfortable with. But now she's kind of stepping outside of her comfort zone. But she does get frustrated because she feels like um, it's a little bit beyond her. But with practice and good instruction, she's learning. But, you know, what do you find with your Connections program? Just what you're saying, that everybody has different learning styles, but the way that you learned in school is probably going to be familiar to you. So people uh, in an Oasis demographic are probably comfortable with a classroom-style situation where they have a book. That's mm-hmm. why we've done it that way for all these years. But we're also adapting that they may just want one question answered, and that's the reason for Ask a Techie or an ebook to be downloaded and to help them. It's very, very interesting. So to learn more about this wonderful program, you can call 314-862-4859. That's 314-862-4859. Uh, Amy, a little bit more about you. How did you get involved with this program? Well, I was lucky enough to be hired when um, my predecessor was actually retiring, and that's because 10,000 people turn 65 every day for the next 20 years. So there's a lot of people that are retiring and moving on to the next thing that they want to do in life. And so there was a job opening for me. And um, so I had the opportunity to become a part of Oasis. And I, I absolutely love what I do. And I love guiding people to these kinds of resources. And one other thing people can do is visit our website um, to get the download to the book. It's at oasisnet.org. Um, oasisnet.org, www.oasisnet.org is our website. To get the ebook, you would go to uh, Connections. And if you want to learn more about classes that are happening in St. Louis, you can go to um, Cities St. Louis on our website wow. to find out what we're doing in St. Louis. And yeah. we also are in eight other cities throughout the country uh, offering Oasis classes and Connections classes. It's very exciting. Very, very convenient. You guys have done a wonderful job. And I'm just really excited about how many uh, Americans you're, you're helping. I mean, seriously, the numbers are phenomenal. The numbers uh, for Oasis itself are phenomenal and for my program are pretty compelling as well. Um, We serve more than 370,000 adults over age 50 in 39 U.S. cities. So I said Oasis is only in nine cities, but through our community partnership model, we're actually in 39 cities. The Connections program, the technology training itself, we've uh, enrolled over 100,000 people in technology classes in the last 15 years. And we see that there's definitely an appetite for Um, these kinds of offerings. The thing is that people want to just learn a little bit. We used to want them to do a series of classes, and we find that people are maybe a little bit overwhelmed, and they just want to learn one or two things. They want to come for two sessions, but not three. So we've adapted and changed just like technology is making us all adapt and change. That's wonderful. And and I like the way that you consider um, usages for these new technologies for um, this specific demographic. For instance, you know, if our eyesight seems to fail us a little bit. So you actually can help people learn how to increase the images on their screen. Or if their hearing is failing a little bit, you have ways or your technical people can show them how to have the phone recite to them what is featured on the uh, phone. I love that. You're absolutely right. These are all accessibility features that you're talking about. And one of the things when I have people say, I've heard you on the radio or, you know, I hear what you're saying, Amy, but I love my flip phone. And I do. I'm not here to tell anybody to get rid of their flip phone. However, if they adopt a smartphone or a tablet, there are features there that make things easier to see. You can make the text much bigger. You can uh, turn on contrast, which changes the background color and makes the text easier to read. You can have the phone flash at you when it rings if you can't hear that ringer. These are all features that help people, and it doesn't just have to be older adults. But the truth is that we do age into some hearing loss, some vision loss, and seniors are very uncomfortable reporting that these things are happening, 
But if we can let them know that these features help them, they don't have to report that so much as get done what they need to get done in an easier fashion. It That's is what a, we want to help them with. That is beautiful. You could self-advocate uh, by using some of these services that Oasis offers. I think this is great. And again, let's go over the information so our listeners know how to learn more about Oasis, the Connections Program, or any of the other things that we've spoken about today. Great. Our website is a wonderful resource for that. We're at www.oasisnet.org. And to learn more about the free ebook, you could go to www.oasisnet.org slash access and get right to the landing page there. It's available in English and Spanish. And the other thing I would say about this guide is that it's not just for our seniors to use. If you're helping someone to learn their technology, no matter what their age, this book could be helpful for you to download and help someone else. So it's for caregivers and, and loved ones. And if you want to know what's going on in St. Louis, you can either call 314-862-4859, or you can visit our St. Louis website at oasisnet.org slash St. Louis. And the goal, obviously, is lifelong learning, healthy living, and community service for Oasis. Thank you so much, Amy. Thanks, Christy. I really appreciate it. Amy Van Velde from Oasis Institute. I'm Christy Carson. When we come back on today's issues, the statement, shh, you're in a library, becomes obsolete. For the not-so-quiet concert series happening at the St. Louis Public Library, we'll tell you more coming up.